Going back to excavation volumes, currently we've got zero for extra over intermediate and hard material. It may be that on your site you've got quite a bit of rock and you want to include those quantities. I'm going to show you how this is done. I'm going to close the quantities dialog, go to settings and specify DTM surface. Here you go and specify which surface represents your intermediate and which surface represents your hard material. You can also go and specify whether you want to use your road design when calculating your quantities or not. Now, looking at the intermediate and hard surface, if I go to my display settings and I select those two surfaces, you can see that we've got zero points for them. Ideally, you want a detailed survey. Now, for demo purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm then make a duplicate of surface one and then drop surface one a certain depth and use it as my intermediate and then my hard material. Just to show you how that's done, I'm going to go to my survey mode, go to editing and select duplicate surface. Specify I'm working with surface one I want to duplicate it onto the intermediate surface. Currently they're very much the same surface. Then I'm going to go and apply a constant to the intermediate surface. Click on select, specify surface number two. And go and put in a high constant. As mentioned before, you probably want to be a little more accurate than just putting in a value on here. In this case, I'm taking surface number two and I'm dropping it by 1.2 meters. Doing the same for the hard material, so I'm going back to editing, duplicate surface, put it on the hard surface, and then also apply negative height constant. And this time for surface number three, hard. Having done that, you might have to reanalyze your network. And once you reanalyze your network, you can run your quantities again. Go back to excavation volume, scroll to the right. You can see now I've got extra over intermediate and hard material. 